Yeah, another early morning in Golfita. Rained a bit again last night. It's really nice as the boat's always clean. Come to say hello to Brittany. The small little marina. These guys were out at the fads. What do you catch? Um, we got 21 bites for barley. A lot of tuna. A lot of tuna? Pounds, six pounds. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Ah, good oh, stuff. That's, that's not bad. Yeah, with good fishing reports from the outside and Lyra finally cleaned by a diver. All the barnacles have been removed. We've done a big clean on the outside of her. Yeah, there was no reason to hold back and we were itching to see what was going on on the fishing front. It was uh, time to do a trip to the town and to get our stores sorted out and make ready to head to Panama. And also to go and say a last goodbye to the, the guys on the Palo crew. Yeah, we're on the back streets here heading into uh, into Golfito town and uh, this is actually a pound for confiscated boats by the looks of it. A lot of these were drug boats and I don't know if you remember a couple of years back program about these boats that were built in the jungles for carrying coke and this is obviously one of the confiscated ones. These things were built in the jungles and uh, they used to fill these things up full of coke and then run at night and they've got no profile so they're not radar detectable and uh, yeah crazy stories see these things see the chops trading up freaking basically they've been put together sure it looks like they had three one two yeah three three outboards <clears throat> drug running boats I don't know what the rest of them are here for but yeah it's a bit of fiberglass lying here we actually going up to go and try and get a cell phone for Kerry just chatted to Michael who's the uh, marina manager what a freaking class guy super cool very friendly they've been very happy to help us and everything while we've been recovering from this leg so they are very very nice people Nice place. Into the main road at Golfido. We're going to catch a taxi up to the duty free area. It's called Deposito Libre. Deposito Libre! Oh, okay. That was the last top up of our stores and uh, the final goodbye at ABF with the uh, remaining Parlay crew. Colin was away doing a filming stunt with uh, no decks and it was just Brittany and uh, Curtis. Alright, don't fuck up. No, I'm fucking up. <laughs> you have one shot? Full, full time fucking up here. <laughs> Mr. Full time you're fuck up. You're distracting me with all this freaking tequila. Oh, sorry, the tequila is finished. We're onto the rum now. That's good, the problem. Where are you okay, that's that? the good <laughs> stuff. That's the good shit. Yeah, it's the good shit. And now we've got tuna in a cold pan. Hey, this is the tequila. Yeah, Look at that. Curtis, he's only new on the parlay and he's already putting stuff in tequila. Kerry, what's this? 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 What's Oh, perfect. I mean, okay. wine tasting? No. It's been one minute. Yeah, that's when I need a little bit of, a little bit of sesame on the corner there. You gotta do a chef emerald. Bam, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I s cheers, mate. I swear to God, you guys need to do cooking with Trevor and Carrie. Cooking with Lyra Noah. Colin, we missed you! <laughs> He's busy with the sea tuna here, with the sesame seed, and there she is. Almost time to serve. So we here are going to leave uh, Gofita, getting prepared. We're busy filling up with diesel and water. Yeah, I think it's about 6.30 in the morning. And Trevor's fishing from the side, catching live bait. Check he's got the live well on. 
little lab bait swimming around nicely still. Scared. I'm watching the water fill up in the tanks while he's fishing. Freaking incorrigible. We've been stuck at Golfita for over a month now, so everybody was itching to get going. I was especially itching to get out there and find some fish. Just getting her ready to leave. This is the beautiful morning here. So still and calm. So pretty here. I love it. Only the crocodiles in the green water, that's the only hiccup in this place, but the rest of it is stunning. So peaceful. I've enjoyed it here very much. The restaurant. The beautiful, beautiful kitchen, all in glass. beach area here lovely little beach area you can sit on can you imagine this in summertime and these like I don't know what you call these like trampoline things or nets that they put big cushions here and you lie here yeah all the staff and the crew at the uh, marina had been unbelievably friendly and, and helpful to us especially the dock master there Michael the guys that allowed us to anchor close to the to the uh, restaurant we had had full Wi-Fi signal, they'd looked after us, if we needed anything they'd helped, so our stay was uh, super cool there and uh, it made things a lot easier for us. There's the reception office. Now yeah, Kerry's got a huge soft spot for the animals and as usual she'd gone all out, did a whole baking thing, made some biscuits for the dogs as a farewell present and went over to see Curtis at the boat. I'm walking to Parley Revival to go and say goodbye to the dogs the pirate okay um <clears throat> yeah so this is a beautiful little walkway that you walk down and i'm going to the marina side to go and say good morning and goodbye to the boys and to curtis and parley for the final time this is definitely a goodbye um <clears throat> then we're heading out we're going to go and see the fads now we're going to go and see what the fishing's like on the way. Then we're going to go to Panama City, check in and buy me a phone. Yay! I've been without a phone for so long. And then uh, we'll be heading to Tropic Star Lodge, which is going to be amazing because it really feels like a holiday there. But we're going to go and stay there for a little while. It's got the most beautiful pool and spa and fishing and lovely people beautiful bar yeah we felt so at home there so we're gonna go and stay there for a little while i don't know how long and just see what comes up with uh, the story with the boat where we're gonna go from there so that's our plan so now we're gonna go into the marina part and go and say good morning hope they're up <laughs> hola hola so we go see Pole, say goodbye. There's McFly sitting on the boat waiting. Shame. Waiting for Colin. I think they desperately miss him. So Brittany left <coughs> yesterday and she's back home already, safe and sound. Small and quaint, pretty organized, friendly. So these are some of the fishing boats parked here. Um, that's the little one there, so cute. Yeah, these are the boats. And Parley's parked down the bottom. Look at my boys! Oh, whoa, whoa. Look how they go cute, how they talk. Hello, good morning. Oh, how are you? Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I'm coming to say goodbye today. We have checked out. So there's old Curtis. He's taking care of everything. Coming to say hi. Put on the coffee. I'm gonna have a quick coffee with you and say goodbye. So I made them 
110 of these little dog biscuits, specially made with, uh, it's got turmeric, flour, self-raising flour, hot water, peanut butter, and a little bit of brown sugar. And I've made 10 per packet, this is a freezer bag, so Curtis can actually freeze in, they last up to six months. And I'm going to try them out because my daughter's going to make them for the big cake time. Oh, the nice. doggy people, and we got this recipe. So I thought, I'll try it, and um, you want to try one? Sure. <laughs> Tell me how you, what do you think? Because Trevor says they are really nice. It's good. It's, like it's a not trip. bad? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, come. We're going to try it out in the dogs. Sit. Nicely. This is the taste test now. You tell me, hey? Slowly. Boy. Slowly. Your boy. Are those good? Are those good? <laughs> Are those good? They must be. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're only supposed to have like a few a day. <laughs> but today we're going to give you these, okay? Because I want to say goodbye nicely. Oh yeah, I think they're a hit, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my good, look at my flight. Oh. oh my babies. So say goodbye to Golfito. Thanks for the lovely memories and really chill time. We are out of here on our next adventure which is fishing. Yay! We haven't even left the bay well, and Trevor says he's on one motor and he's on 5.4 knots already. Yeah. So what a difference with those barnacles being removed. It's made a hell of a difference. So great. We're going to make headway this time and we're going to sail properly. So just standing at the helm as we go out. Yeah, we're at Matapolo Point and uh, there's this big uh, rock here that we are up the side of and they call it Nchancha. If I'm, if I'm right, I'm not 100% sure. Just slowly trolling around and it's a beautiful day outside. It's hot, sunny for the first time. We've got costumes on, vibing to a bit of reggae music and had a cold beer and it's just feels like summer again. It makes such a difference when there's like nice weather, isn't it? <laughs> Having a great time. And can you believe it? We've just checked out. There's one little boat here with us and they, uh, they were on anchor, jigging and popping and that. And they hadn't seen a rooster. We came past and did one turn around them, came back past the rock and went tight. <laughs> hey, it's a rooster! Trevor's on it. Bring it, 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 bring Jeez, it took so softly. You must get, mustn't go under the boat now. This is going to be my problem now. Look at that. Can't believe it. First time trolling a live bait. I've got a bit more boomer now. Hey? Yeah. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Whoa, 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 whoa. So help you. What is this for? Okay, he's pulling. Yes, sir. Woken up now. He wasn't awake when he was on his disc now. Can you believe it? Huh? Beautiful. 
the lifestyles as well, it's not a Mickey. Just check the boat. We're on 21 meters. Okay. So we fine. Long. Wanting to catch one of these so much for Since so we came long. To Panama like four months ago. And seen a couple. Saw a guy catch it, catch one here the other day as we sailed out to watch the guys fighting one. And uh but man I gotta come back here. This morning dieseling, we got a couple of live baits. And at the first live baits I managed to get decent live baits. And uh when we jigged all of the live baits in the canal coming out, so I found where to get the live baits because that's been the biggest problem. Check at this. And it's a beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, look at the colors. <laughs> Strong like a Gary. Stronger than a Gary. This, this is this on super light tackle. Oh my heck, you have an absolute joy. I told you those baits are dead. Look at those bands on it. Look at that. Hey? Inside. What do you need, Trevor? No, nothing. I'll, I'll just pull him on board. Oh, beautiful size. Beautiful. Oh, wow. So if this, this line doesn't go Oh. <laughs> oh my hat! He's we need prized. some nice buddies of this. Oh. It had been a long time coming, but uh, really only the first time we'd really pulled decent live bait. And obviously, having seen where the spot was, it makes all the difference. He feels it super sharp. Give me, a, give me that long nose pliers. Hey. This is his little shop. It's right in his throat. I don't know if he's out of here. I'm damaging him now. Just for me, release me. Yeah, unfortunately it was hooked pretty deep, but with a bit of a struggle we got it out and got into the water as quickly as possible. And after a little swim, she's ready to go. Yeah, I finally got that elusive rooster fish that I'd been searching for for such a long time. I uh, headed on out to the uh, fads. We tried it a while back and uh, we had such problems with the uh, barnacles under the boat. I eventually turned around because uh, we had such bad performance on the boat. But just look at the sunset. Sunset on a rooster fish. Headed out to the deep, 66 miles. Out to a big uh, undersea mount. And some fads, hopefully. Check at that. Join us next week after our overnight out to the fads. Go make sure you tune in and subscribe and join us for next week's catch. Thanks for watching. Catch you then.